So Cable Street is a nine storey building which when complete will be a AC Marriott hotel and we're working with the main contractor Bardsley on that scheme and delivering a full precast frame solution. Very tight site, very limited offloading and almost zero storage space on site meant this was a perfect project to undertake as a precast solution. The main products on this construction are around 250 solid floor slabs. So there's nearly 300 cross walls on the scheme and also there are 251 brick-faced sandwich external cladding panels as well. Also we are providing the precast stair flights and landings and the stair cores and the lift cores also all in precast. Initially, uh, once the estimates are done and the engineers have done all their work, the production manager will issue drawings to the joiners, the steel fixers, the lads on the shop floor who do all the setting out. The joiners will take the drawings, have a look at the configurations of what they need to put together, i.e. the formwork, the uh, doorways, windows, any other casting items that they have to create. Another set of drawings will be issued to the steel fixers who will create the cage, either through the mesh machine, through the auto bender. So once the joiners have presented the, the formwork to the lads in the shop, they do all the laying out. QA will then do the assessments on the measuring of the panels, the XYs on the panels. And then the next phase, the brick layers, will start laying the trays out. The brick on Cable Street is uh, quite a challenging brick, and it's a handmade brick, so it's fairly irregular. We use our own trained operatives to put the bricks into the panel. Now on the Cable Street, because it's a post-pour grouting, we will insert a foam strip between each bricks to get the alignment. We will put the first set of cage in. First lot of concrete will go in, and then the thermomass, which is all cut to size, will then be inserted and engaged into the wet concrete. The lads will then bring the cage in for the second level. And all the casting items on the top, whether it be sockets or any lifting equipment, they'll all be built into the top. The second pour of concrete will then go in. It will be screened and left, and then they will power float it, shoot the panel up, and leave it to cure overnight. The batching of the concrete is done here at Biley. We have three pan mixers and produce all the concrete for all the units. The supervisor will instruct the batching plants on what mix they need. The batching plant will then send out the volume that he needs in batches of 1.5 or 2 metres. The laboratory that we employ here will take samples of the concrete weight for testing. The unit is then lifted onto the storage frames in the factory. The lads will strip all the polystyrene or the trays off it. The QA lads will then do a, an overview on the measurements of the panel to make sure nothing's moved. It will then be loaded onto the trailer and it'll be transported out into the yard. The pointing company, or if it's McAndrew doing pointing, will do the final dressing. If the windows are being installed on this site, the window stallers will then engage the windows, sign it all off, ready for delivery for site. We own a wide range of transport uh, equipment for the delivery of the precast elements to site. That means we're able to actually load the units directly here. This means that the units do not have to be double handled, which is good for avoiding any potential damage to the units in transportation. At FP McCann we like to be involved and manage the process from A to Z so that really is covering from the initial design working with the architects and the structural engineer and also the client to find a way to develop their intent and give them the precast solution that suits the program and the site logistics. Mm -hmm.